hello. I came out here to empty my car out. Uh, I went off yesterday with a friend of mine, Sherry. We went to, uh, out to eat. We went to the dog. to eat we went to the dollar tree <laughs> and we went to walmart that's what all this is back here walmart but i'll talk about that later but as i was getting ready to carry the bags in i thought why not just stay out here in the car i gotta <laughs> and do it out here because it's pretty i don't know what the tenth is it's a little chilly i got hair all over the place <laughs> And I'm going to have to fix it to go up on the hill. So before I get dirty, I thought, yeah, I'll just do my haul. 57 degrees. I think it's supposed to get up to like 72 today. Today is Saturday. Hi, little ones. Yeah. <laughs> Saturday, March 30th, the day before Easter. So I'd like to wish each and every one of you a happy Easter in case I don't. Uh, talk to you before then, which probably your next video you won't see till after you've already celebrated uh, a beautiful day. And Easter will be a beautiful day. Yes. So here it here we go. It's a Dollar Tree home. Not a whole lot of spectacular, but uh, at least one thing Sherry and I both had to get don't remember if the Dollar Tree's had it before. And to be honest, I don't remember if I've ever had this flavor before. <laughs> Lemon Moon Pies. First, I thought it was banana moon pies. And I've had banana before. And I've had vanilla. And I've had chocolate. But Lemon Moon Pies. Have y'all had Lemon Moon Pies from the Dollar Tree or anywhere else as far as that goes? So we both, and it says Zesty Lemon. Yeah, got to have zest in your lemon. <laughs> so it's six mini pies for a dollar and a quarter. So we had to get two boxes of those. We did. I don't know if I sold Sherry on these yet or not. But I had to get a few more of them because they're good. It says uh, Best Buy... 8 of 2024, the Hereford Rip and Ready Hamburger Beef. What does it say? Beef crumbles, seasoned beef crumbles, and they are seasoned. Uh, like I said if, uh, before, I used a couple of these packs in Manwich, and it seasoned it really good. I didn't have to add any extra seasoning. It's more spicy if you try to eat it by itself, but if you add it to stuff, I can see you making a chili mac with it, chili with it, um, sloppy joes like I did. I could see it on pizza. I can see it anyway. Uh, someone had said they it was full of, uh, what do you call it, preservatives, but it isn't. It really isn't. It's cooked beef water. A seasoned blend of maltodextrin, onion powder, salt, cumin, chili pepper, paprika color, garlic, modified food starch, citric acid, soybean oil, red pepper, and something else called oleo resin. I don't know what that is, but it's a spice. And it says spices and coloring, onion powder, yeast extract, beef extract, garlic powder, sugar, natural flavor, and salt. Yeah. So I'm not sure why all the comments about the preservatives in it. Because I think salt is the main preservative in this. But when you add it to other things, it's, yeah, it's, it's good. But I thought I'd show you the back. Fully cooked, ready to eat, raised with no added hormones. And on Amazon for 12 packs, I think it was like $43. And 
get 12 packs at the Dollar Tree, it's $18. So a $25 difference. And with them expiring or Best Buy August of 2024, that's one reason I was saying in another video, if you see that you want to stock up on them, but you're not going to use them all, you know, by the Best Buy date, you could actually put them in the freezer. And they would not take up a lot of room. So, if you can find these and you like beef and you like a little heat, these are good. I got these for Lexi, one of her all-time favorites. And I've not gotten them in a while because she's had treats that I had bought from the Walmart a while back. And she's fixing to run out of them, so I thought I'd get her some of the Canine Carry Out Taco Minis. Produced in Topeka, Kansas. So, a USA product. She enjoys these. So, today, she's going to get a treat. Uh, Taco Minis. I've got a cat watching me. <laughs> Taco Minis. One thing, I was, we were in the candle aisle candle aisle and uh sherry was actually looking at those little sachet packets and i think it was the lily one or something she's talking about how good they smell i use them in uh and i didn't buy any this time but i use them like in my uh clothing drawers you can use them in your pant your closet uh it just freshens up things i like the um uh, all kinds of different ones they have. They have different ones. They have the lily. I'm trying to think right now, and I can't, but they came two to a pack. But anyway, and I was telling her this, it's one of my favorite all time. And I said, I believe these used to just have 40 pieces in it. I need to go in my house and look. I've not bought any in a long time because I was still well stocked up. And that's the incense sticks. So we sat, sat, we stood in the aisle and I would open them up and let her sniff on different, different scents. They had jasmine and I can't remember the other scents, but she, when she smelled the lemongrass, she said, oh, I like that. And she said, how do you use them, Angie? And I said, well, you light them at the tip till it's a flame and you see that they're having an ember like, you know, charcoal blow the flame out and then it burns all the way down and you put it you can put it in a holder they actually had some new holders uh, I'm telling you that and it's not in this bag so I'm going to have to I'm going to cut you off for a second so I can find the new type holders they had for the incense stick I'm sorry I can't think of our cashier's name she is so sweet she wrapped mine up. She did. And Sherry got her one, too. She, I think she got a different color. They had, like, three colors in these. The incense holders. Aren't those cute? And they're a Greenbrier product. You put the incense stick with the wood down here, and it stands straight up, and that way when it burns down, the ashes go in here. So I thought... I'll get one of these. This was cute. Like I said, they had at least two other colors and designs. I believe they were all different designs. But I got that one. So hopefully I won't break it. Uh, something I got because Kenny said, Angie, I think we're about out. And I know I have plenty of paper towels. But just to be safe until I go to stock up. I bought a four pack of the uh, soft and strong toilet paper, two ply unscented bath tissue, septic safe. And there's a, let me see, 240 sheets per roll. So I just bought one of these. And that's just to, to get us by until I go stock up. Usually when I stock up, I don't have to buy for a while. I thought I got some a while back at the Yugo, but it was, so I may have, it may be somewhere, and Kenny just didn't see it, so I've got to check on that, but 
that's a backup. And also, if I don't need it here, we can also use it in the camper. Because he's wanting to go camping pretty soon. Another thing I was on the lookout for when I got a couple of them was the ma ma uh, Mahatam. I can't even say it. Maha. Y'all say it. Spicy jalapeno jasmine rock. I love anything spicy. <laughs> Go good with all kinds of sandwiches. It says squeeze an open pouch to separate the uh, the ice the rice. Tear two inches to vent at the top of the package. Heat on high for 90 seconds. Cooking time for two pouches is two and a half minutes, which unless I had a crowd here, which I normally don't, one pouch is good. You can also uh, use it in the skillet by breaking apart the rice and pour contents in a skillet. Add two tablespoons of water and heat it through. And this is another one that I'm looking, jasmine rice, water, onion, green peppers, jalapeno pepper, sunflower oil, cilantro, vegetable stock powder, rice flour, salt, onions, parsnips, carrots, olive oil, turmeric, parsley, lime juice, garlic puree, sea salt, sunflower, uh, how do you say it? L-E-C-I-T-H-I-N. So, not a lot of preservatives in this one either. So, I went ahead and bought a couple of these. Product of Spain. Best if used by 7 of 24. But again, if you're a family of one or two and you like to have easy things to cook at home, or you're like me in my household where I like spicy, Kenny not so much. And so a lot of times I don't want to go through a lot to make something spicy. This is perfect. It says two servings. For me, it would at least be two to three servings in the bag. I hear something. So if you like spicy and you like rice and you like sausages, which you can get them at the Dollar Tree, it would make a really good meal. I knew I heard a vehicle. I bought something diff uh, new. Uh, during this journey of being sick, a lot of times I would drink uh, uh, hydration drinks, body armor. And uh, that was my go-to was the body armor because it was the least in sodium, least in salt, uh, sugar, and all that. But the Dollar Tree this time had something called Organic Trio Full Flavor Hydration Blueberry. And it's only 20 calories, one gram of sugar, tap from the birch trees. Oh, it's birch tree water. In New York and Vermont, Trio is naturally sweet and bursting with fruit. So, uh, I got two of those to try. I was going to compare, like, the uh, vitamins that this has. It doesn't really show all the vitamins like uh, Body Armor does. It shows it has vitamin C 20% for the day and zinc 20%. Sodium's only 4% of your daily, which is not bad. Carbohydrates is 17 grams, which is 6% of your daily, which isn't bad. And they really say zero on your sugar percent for the day, even though it's one gram. So, yeah, I, I've never had birch water, have you? <laughs> so, I'm going to try these. I probably would have got more blueberry normally is not my regular go-to so if i like these real well and they still have them in stock for a dollar and a quarter i will uh, get a few more of those because although i'm not drinking them on a daily basis anymore there are times that i have to have them let's see what else i got 
Let's finish it. We'll, we'll stay along the lines of the drinks. How's that? Sherry found these in the cooler section. Tammy, which y'all know Tammy, uh, has recommended it for me. It's the Body Armor Flash IV. It's 20 ounces. She said it's more of electrolytes rapid rehydration than the regular. So they actually had three in the cooler. Or they had three flavors. I don't know if they just had three in the cooler, but three flavors. So I got one of the Tropical Punch. One of the Strawberry Kiwi. And these are a little higher in calories. This one was 80 calories. 80 calories. Which is still not bad. And this one's 80 calories. The orange. So I got three of these because with summertime coming up and at times I do need hydration, if I need extreme hydration, I can try one of these. Uh, when I got up to the checkout, they were actually two fifty. Yeah, two fifty instead of a dollar and a quarter or a dollar fifty or a dollar two fifty. I did not send them. I didn't say, "Oh, I don't want them," because. From what I remember seeing, they're more expensive than that normally at Walmart. So I need to do a price comparison on those. But watch out if you get these at the Dollar Tree. They're not a dollar. <laughs> they're two fifty, And I got three of them. And, yeah, I tell you, Sherry had a good eye because they didn't have any of the prime bottles on the shelf. They only had the prime cans, which are not hydration. They're for energy, and they have caffeine. I can't have caffeine. I think it's like 200 milligrams per can. But this is a hydration drink, 25 calories. Even though it doesn't say lot, it is a lot in the tropical punch. So I went ahead and got this one. And between this and the prime drinks I bought in another haul, I should be good for a little while anyway with the hydration drinks. And I know that you can do, make your own hydration drinks, but I'm, I'm better off having some ready to go. I bought two more of these baskets. I hope I can find the ones I have here. And I was telling Sherry, I don't use them for waste baskets, even though you can. They had them in black and white. This time I bought white. But I actually want to try to grow a few things, maybe from seed even. Last year, my wildflowers didn't take off. And I don't know if it's because the cats were digging it up or the sun wasn't hitting it right. But you actually, in your garden, if you're starting a plant or seeds, you can turn it upside down to protect them. And the sun will come through here. That's why I got the white because I figured it would reflect a lot of the heat let the rays in, but I've got those little metal landscaping clips that will hold these down. I may have to get more if I can't find the ones I have, but I want to do a few things in the yard. How much will I get done? Who knows, but I'm going to try. So I bought two of those while i seen them, and I could show you that you can also use these in your garden. Say, I know... One year, I planted uh, some kind of, I can't remember what kind of plants, but I didn't uh, anchor them down, and the animals kept knocking them over, and something ate them. <laughs> so this time, I'm going to anchor them down when I use them. I have one more bag. Yeah, one more bag to go. I broke down and got a couple of little snacky items only because I think I'm out of these flavors in the house. A while back, I bought um, chips on the clearance thing for 50 cents. And so I was trying to be good and not buy a lot of the single chips until we used some of those. But I needed some of my Herbs Stubbs barbecue potato chips. And I told Sherry, I'm just going to get one. Just one bag. Says forever good. They are good. I was introduced to hers 
over a quarter of a century ago, probably more like 30 years ago with the ketchup chips. And they had the ketchup chips in Oak, was it Oak Ridge? And I bought a lot of them last year, like a dozen of them or so, 10 dozen, I can't, I've not seen them anymore. So Dollar Tree, bring my ketchup chips back because I really do like the ketchup chips. And the baby back ribs are good. So I bought one of those. What else did I get? I have my rake out in the yard from last year or year before. But this part's broke. Some of the things are off of it. I mean, I can still use it to a certain extent. But they had green this year. <laughs> Good reason to get it, isn't it? Different color. The other one's orange. I'm looking at it with a gray handle. I bought the handle to this one, too, but I think it's probably in here in between. Oh, here it is. I found it. <laughs> Had a green handle and green. Dollar and a quarter a piece. I like them because the handle's longer. I like the longer handle. And these are sufficient for more lightweight type stuff. It is a Greenbrier product, light duty, like I said. Can be used separately or with threaded handle, which I bought. And if I want to replace that one, I bet one of these would fit on it. So I haven't bought much in garden stuff because I've got so much still from last year and the year before, and I'm trying to be good if I gather some of it together. Might try it together with you. Because a lot of it, they it's repeat items. If you'll notice, the Dollar Tree doesn't have a whole lot of different new items. New items I gravitate toward. New colors I gravitate toward. Don't believe Omi has these. And you know, if I find them, I have to get them. Gnomes. <laughs> Fourth of July, Memorial Day, gnomes, decorative gnome. Not a toy, it says, for decorative purposes. And they had these two, and of course, Sherry agreed with me. Omi must have them. This one has stars on its feet. Aren't they cute? Lexi wants off the porch. I shut the gate. So I got her two gnomes. So, Omi, two more gnomes. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. It's just the Dollar Tree haul video. It's just a little bit of this and that. I enjoyed spending time with Sherry. I'll talk more about Walmart in another video. I did. We went to Walmart with purpose for Sherry. And I did in the store. Come to think of it, she thought she left something in my car, but I don't think it's in my car. I need to tell her. I did a show and tell in the store, in the checkout line, because the line was long. So we'll do that in a different video. Thank you for watching. And again, happy Easter to uh, everyone. Not sure exactly what we're doing, Eli, as far as the eggs and stuff. He's not so much into it anymore. We'll probably just go to Michelle's and have a good dinner with her. But thank you for watching. Did I say that already? <laughs> Until next time. We'll talk soon.